Sometimes I still wish I could just end it all. That would save me 50,000 gold. Hello everyone. Today we're going to be viewing some brand new, never before seen heart events with Shane. So... I don't even need to talk to them anymore. They know the drill. Now the really cool thing about these heart events is they actually happen when Shane is at 11 and 12 hearts after you're married. Because if anyone deserves a little extra attention, it's whoever you're married to that day. Well, not in particular this day because Sebastian, but he'll be gone and we'll bring in Shane. Hey, how'd you sleep last night? I heard you mumbling. I was telling you to get out. You seemed scared, but I have to admit it was kind of cute. Wow, way to say something like that right in my video. Ruin it already. Shane overall is one of my favorite NPCs to marry, simply because he's so easy to marry. You can find him very early in the mornings, leaving Marnies. Most mornings. You're not Shane. Get out of here. Animals are so innocent, so sweet, and if I don't look after them, who will? Well, Shane's too drunk and I just don't care, so that's a good question. Speaking of whom, I don't know where to find him currently. Found him. Do you ever feel like the whole world is scrutinizing you like some disgusting insect? No, but I can see why they would to you. But good news, today it's you. You stay here and keep an eye on the tractor. I've got a marriage to attend to. Why am I waking up in the middle of the bed? Shane's still drunk from the wedding night, trying to find his one last drink. These heart events are somewhat particular on how to trigger them. The first one's going to happen when Shane is actually at 11 hearts and in spring. So I've got to sleep through a couple months and that's okay. Shane doesn't deserve to be talked to for the next two months anyway. I was hoping he'd get the hint by the way I'm not talking to him, but whatever. After two months of silence, Shane is apparently just still nursing a hangover. I can't actually tell who's been more useless over the last few months. But currently he's sitting at 10 hearts. We need him at 11 to trigger this, so he's going to get a gift he likes. I mean, we might as well just get it over with and enable him. Oh wow, mums, how'd you know this is my favorite? Oh, I just had a sneaking suspicion, that's all. Wow, that worked fast. I gave him like three beers and he's already up to 12 hearts. So, good job. I guess being a drunk has its uses after all. Heart event number one happens in the woods. Back on the dock. We had an early heart event here, and I think this is a throwback to that. A plate, huh? Well, I was a little concerned when he wandered off into the darkness with a case of beer. So, yeah. Here, have a cold one. Well, I guess it's nice to see you're not hanging off the edge of a cliff, passed out drunk today. Bah, life. Tell me about it. I'm married to this useless idiot who doesn't do a thing. And considering I don't do much of anything, the farm is not being very productive these days. You ever feel like no matter what you do, you're gonna fail? No, but tell me all about your life, Shane. Like you're stuck in some miserable abyss and you're so deep that you can't even see the light of day? Yeah, that's called being married to me, and every NPC goes through this at one point or another, usually about once per year. I just feel like no matter how hard I try, I'm not strong enough to climb out of that hole. Well, just stay down there and I'll bury you alive. I feel like that might actually be to the benefit of everyone involved. Oh no, Shane's contagious. Hey, a fast drinker, huh? Man after my own heart. Yeah, the difference is I only had one. You're on your 17th of the day. Just don't make it a habit. You still got a future ahead of you. Uh... Yeah, that's debatable, but okay, whatever you say, Shane. Ever the wise one. Welp, my liver's begging me to stop. Better call it a night. What? That's no fun. Make Shane drink more. Here, Shane, infinite beers. I've got all the beer in the world. See you around, mumps. Uh, okay, we live together, so I don't know why we wouldn't just walk home, but thanks. Thanks, Shane. And now I'm just buzzed. Not only will hanging out with Shane make you depressed, it will also make you slow. Where are you going in the middle of the night? Hi, Mr. Mumps. Uh, yeah, I'm too drunk for you, kid. Guess when the next heart event happens? Winter. So Shane, enjoy the next few months of silence, we're doing it again. Three months and one more of these things later, and we're ready to do it again. Thoughts on that, my ever-drunk live-in moron? Any big plans this winter? I'll probably end up watching a lot of TV and just hanging out around the house. You're so useful, it's almost unbearable. And if I didn't need you for this video so badly, I would divorce you right here and now. But don't worry, we'll get there. This one happens on a cold winter's night. Oh, well this is awkward. Shannon, kind of need you back at the house right now. How was your day? Mine actually went pretty well. Mine didn't, because somehow you teleported out here. I'm going to pretend you're back at the house now. As I was saying, this heart event happens on a cold winter's night. And Shane has to be in the house for this to activate, so thank you Shane. We'll, uh, we'll pick it up again here in the morning. Shane, if I'm actually going to have to wait till 10pm on a regular day to make this work, it's going to be trouble. Okay, here we go. Success. Shane is actually probably being more useful than he normally is because at least he's keeping the bed warm. That's honestly the most useful productive thing he's ever done. And he's so drunk he's just staring at the ceiling. Hey Peach, don't call me Peach ever again. Long day, huh? Yup, you have no idea. 
took me all of 10 seconds to get here. Yeah, thought so. Yeah, I bet you spent a lot of time thinking about how hard I'm working. Providing this entire house and family for us, everything you see. Not sure what you contribute. Mums, I just need to get this off my chest, okay? Can't you talk to the fridge or something instead? Today was pretty bad for me. That actually makes me kind of happy. Don't worry, nothing happened. Yeah, I bet it didn't because you don't do anything. It's just, everything's been so heavy. There's literally been nothing going on at all, ever. Nothing. Honestly, I'm starting to think that I'll feel this way for the rest of my life. Shane, I'm gonna level with you. You're really bringing me down right now. I want to come home and go to bed, and now you're just making me super depressed. And sometimes, sometimes I still wish I could just end it all. That would save me 50,000 gold. Just saying. But, uh, oh yeah, don't, that's immoral. Don't do that. I can't, though. I won't. Yep, there's that winning attitude. Can't, won't, don't want to. I don't want you to worry. I'm never going to do anything like that again. Well, I'm pretty sure you didn't in the first place, otherwise you wouldn't be here. There are people depending on me, and there are lots of good things in my life. Yeah, you're not going to take the divorce very well, are you? You can have the kids if you want, though. I have you, and there's Jazz, Marnie, the farm, the chickens. There's no way I can just leave. He made no mention of the children there. He has two children. Didn't mention them once. Even if I feel like I want to. There's no way I'm just going to throw it all away. And I just want to let you know that of all the good things keeping me here, you're my favorite. Yep, Shane. Really fond of you too. Words can't even express it. Heh, that sounded really corny, didn't it? Yep. I meant it though. I bet you did. Can I go to sleep now? It's been a long day of actual work. Not that you'd know anything about that. Anyway, we should probably get some shut eye. Yeah, you got an early morning? Gotta go to work? Early job? Good night, mumps. Shut up, Shane. There really should be more hard events after marriage. They're kind of fun. This next one is very particular. It happens on the 4th of summer, which happens to be Jazz's birthday. So clearly I'm really looking forward to this one. Marnie and Jazz both also need to be a 10 hearts for that, so clearly I'm going to put a lot of effort into making them really like me. Now it's just a few more months of waiting. Before we go to sleep, I would like to point out that Shane is face down in his pillow. Hopefully smothering himself, but we'll see. Nope, he seems to have relocated. That was fun. I love the waiting game. Especially when I'm waiting for a child's birthday. And I've never been excited for a child's birthday in my life. So here we go. And everyone's kind of... Okay, here we go again. Good morning, Mr. Mumps. Don't you have bugs to be eating or something? Strange, small child. Do you know what day it is today? The day I have some business out of town, far away from you? It's my birthday. I don't care, and nobody else does. Aunt Marnie is making a special lunch to celebrate. And... Jazz? Uncle Shane! Good news, we're going over to Marnie's. Oh, she goes in for a hug. Well, good morning to you too. Careful, if you let them be too close for too long, you'll get sick. That's pretty much a fact. I'm pretty sure it's someone's birthday today, but I can't remember whose it is. It's mine. Is it your birthday, Mumps? Hey, he got it right, yeah. No. It's my birthday, give me presents. Kids are stupid anyway. Hmm, maybe it's a farm's birthday. Shane, don't be stupid. Farms don't have birthdays. Uncle Shane, it's my birthday today. Again, nobody cares. You're right, I can't believe I forgot. Yeah, you're pretty much as bad of an uncle as you are a spouse. Or just a person in general. You didn't forget, Uncle Shane. You're just teasing me. He actually had to ask me what your name was before you showed up. I should have known you're way too smart for me to fool. That's right. Well, she is smarter than you, so you're onto something there. So, kiddo, what do you want to do today? Don't say eat bugs. I was just telling Mr. Mumps about how Aunt Marnie's making lunch. I came over to ask if you'll both meet us by the lake at 11. We're having pink cake. Do I have any choice in this matter? Of course we'll be there, Jazz. Wonder if we could skip this. Wonder if there's any adverse effects to that. Yay, see you later. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I never committed to that. Shane did. Well, I guess we're committed now. We need to go to the forest between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. today. That's the only opportunity we have for this. And I kind of want to skip it, but here we go. Children's birthdays are fun. Oh yeah, it's the wrong time to do this. Children's birthday, round two. I like how my kids never get a birthday party. Feel privileged, child. My kids don't even get birthday parties. Or attention. Happy birthday, Jazz. Yeah, happy birthday. We covered this already. I'm glad you two could make it. Uh, okay. Shane. I need to show you something. It's a secret, Mr. Mumps. Yeah, no kidding. Come on, Uncle Shane. Oh, please push her in the lake. 
Heh, well, it looks like I gotta go escort our birthday girl. We'll be back in a bit, bud. Uh, okay, I'll just wait here with Marnie and do nothing. So what did you find, Squirt? I bet it's bugs. She's gonna eat the bugs. Come on, it's this way. Okay, cool. I don't need to be included in this anyway. I'm only here to child's birthday. I'm sorry she dragged him off like that. She's always just so excited to spend time with him. I mean, she's really the only one. I'm just happy she got rid of him for me. Hopefully they don't come back. That'd be an easy two eliminations. You know, Jazz was over the moon when she found out that you and Shane were getting married. I don't think she even knows what weddings are. Your wedding was all she would talk about for weeks. Well, it's kind of a small, boring town, so... It was good to see you're so animated about something. You know how she can be so withdrawn sometimes. I really don't. I don't know much about her at all. Hopefully she stays that way because I don't want to talk to her very much. Things were difficult for them. For both of them. Yeah, I imagine they were. You know how bad things got for Shane. Jez's father was his best friend. I'd known them both since they were children. I should hope so. You're all related. And Jez was four when the accident happened. She still gets nightmares sometimes. Does any of this have to be my problem? I don't know if they'll ever really heal from what happened, but... Nothing a little divorce won't fix. At least for me. They both come so far. I never imagined that we could all be together like this. Yeah, I never wanted it, but here we are. Mr. Mumps, you'll never guess what we found. I don't want to. We'll give it to him already, Uncle Shane. Was it an empty bottle? Because if it was, I know who put it there. Heh, Chaz found a big patch of sweet peas. So I told them to give some to you. Wow, the garbage I pick up off the ground every day. Isn't it romantic, Mr. Mumps? It's stupid. Cough. So, uh, who else are we waiting for? Is Vincent coming too? Yeah, where is the other child? Nope. He and Miss Penny already celebrated with me yesterday. We were looking for shells at the beach. Why are you having two birthday parties? It wasn't your birthday yesterday. So today is just for family. Okay, I'm off then. Bye. Well, let's go eat before the ants get to all of our food. Can I have some cake? A pizza does look really good. Yeah, at least there's food here. Jazz told us all about what she was learning at her tutoring sessions. Boy, does that sound exciting. Later, Marnie admitted that she just bought all of our food from the saloon. I'm sure Shane approves anything from the saloon. It was a lot of fun. Was it though? Was it really? And the best part was, I didn't even get to keep my sweet pea. But here's one growing in the ground anyway, so this one will do. Thanks, but no thanks. And now for my favorite part of the video, the cleansing. We definitely got our use out of Shane, and these two weren't even actually required, they just kind of happened. So see you later. Anyways, this was a really cool mod, those hard events were very well done. I like that people actually make the effort to make things like this that can add a lot to the game. Link to that in the description below, very easy to install and use. Other than that, hope you liked it, thanks for watching.